Deposit dates for Ford Stimulus Check are here. Uh, deposit dates are being announced, and as part of the prices of gas stations and gas going increasingly fast, and gas going very high in pretty much everywhere, and the supermarkets rising their cost, well, lawmakers are taking action this year. Because these payments will be worth as much as three grand. And Americans continue to feel the pain of soaring inflation. It's why the several state governments are offering their own tax filers some relief in the form of stimulus and tax refunds. So while inflation has trickled down in recent months, following the record high levels not seen since the 80s, consumers are still experiencing some financial difficulties. Well folks, here is the reason why. It's because the state of Massachusetts has announced that it will be providing eligible taxpayers with a refund that amounts to 14% of their personal income tax. And according to the state law, the state must return to taxpayers a portion of excess state revenue. If tax revenue collections exceed the annual tax, well, the revenue cap is going to be pretty much at insurmountable levels. But here's what we need to know about the Ford Stimulus Check. The state began sending out the refunds in November. Eligible taxpayers that are receiving the refund through direct deposit or check sent in the mail. And those who have not yet filed their 21 uh, tax returns have until September 15 to do so. There will be many more Americans getting a major check worth more than three grand. it has been a few months since Alaska has been sending out the cash from its permanent fund dividend that it paid out to a lot of people in the state. Now back in 2022, these checks were pretty much worth $4,000 and the exact date of when you get the money is sent as well just deposited and depends on when applications are approved. Because Alaska's permanent fund dividend is continuing to accept applications to March 31st and residents have until February 28th to file an application for property tax rebates as part of a state's anchor benefit program. An estimated 2 million households in the Garden State are eligible for anchor, which stands for Affordable New Jersey Community Homeowners. Now, homeowners who earn up to 150 grand will receive $1,500 in property tax, and uh, they're also going to get a lot more money in stimulus payments. And also, in another state like Connecticut, one of those northern states, you will begin issuing the payments from its premium pay program, or we call it Triple P. In the next five to six weeks, people will get stimulus, $1,000 between March 1st and $1,000 between March 11th. Applicants who applied by October will receive anywhere from, let's see, $200 to $1,000, with the full-time essential workers giving a lot of money. Because what we know for sure is that applicants will get that cash. And even in the Maine, the state of Maine, Revenue Service has sent $5,000 checks worth around $450. And that was by January 31st. So that was about two weeks ago. And now people can get even more money. Because now the Director of Communications for the state of Maine has said there are no delays. And they are anticipating people to get stimulus very fast, very quick, and very efficiently. That's a good thing to know. Even in Michigan, the, the Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Democratic legislators recently announced a proposed plan that was in $180 inflation relief checks to people who need it the most. Um, this is going to go to the people of uh, Maine and people of Michigan, and you'll be getting a lot of stimulus. Even if you're a married taxpayer filing separately, you will just receive 90 bucks each. We have a ton of news about the Ford Stimulus Check, Social Security Benefits, SSI, SSDI, and as well as the SA Benefits. So we have a ton of news about the Ford Stimulus Payment that you need to know. It's about to happen. The new inflation relief checks are being sent out, and it's being approved right now for the millions of low-income households. Right now, Joe Biden is just showing support for another recurring stimulus payment. As part of the American Rescue Plan, though, he says that there could be more stimulus in 2023. Because during his second State of the Union address, Joe Biden puts a focus on children with initiatives that would introduce universal pre-K and things like that. Residents of Washington now have a new annual tax credit available to them. It could be worth up to 200 bucks. And this month, the Washington State Department of Revenue launched a Working Families Tax Credit, which everybody will get a stimulus in that part. The tax credit is also targeted to the low income, the low moderate income households, to provide financial stability. Up to 400 grand is eligible for people for people to get stimulus cash, and the credit is modeled after the Federal Earned Income Tax Credit Program. It's considered one of the best tools for reducing poverty, and even the state officials are excited to send this out. So you'll be getting that stimulus cash in no time, folks. Yes, that's right. Joe Biden can send it out in a matter of seconds. But do you believe that he will get it done faster? Thank you very much. Um, let me begin the questioning and uh, give the mic over to Senator Cassidy, and we'll go around the table. Um, as I mentioned earlier, in my state, in our largest hospital, uh, 
we have seen a huge expenditure of 125 million for traveling nurses at a time when we have more young people who want to become nurses but can't accommodate them uh, in our nursing schools. Uh, Dr. Herbert, is that in fact just the Vermont problem or is that a main problem, is that a national problem? Um, Senator Sanders, it's very much a national problem. The traveling nurse uh, situation that you described, I mean, you're exactly right. We're, we're seeing the exact same thing in Maine. Um, it, there's a, a number of reasons for it, but I think what you're hearing from the panel today, there's consistency in terms of the nurse educator problem. Um, but there's also, you know, hospitals are really strapped uh, with the workload issues that I that I described earlier in terms of reimbursements, and so it's it's complicated. But the clinical training sites like hospitals need support to be able to accommodate more trainees, um, which will help with the problem. Okay, um, uh, Dr. Zanton, um, how are we going to give me some specific ideas? as to how we get more nurse educators out there so we can accommodate the number of young people who want to become nurses? If we could um, increase the, all the programs through HRSA, like the Nurse Corps, <coughs> that would be a really concrete suggestion. Um, currently, almost none of our students are able to get the Nurse Corps because we were a master's program. So I think um, you know solving all the problems that we talked about um, and having more simulation, you know, passing the Fan Act would be ways of quickly trying to increase the nurse faculty um, abilities of this country. Okay, um, Dr. Hildreth, uh, it is widely recognized, not debated, that African Americans, Latinos, and Native Americans are underrepresented for a bad batch of water. Uh, the system uh, then was, you know, it was uh, paused, distributing more water into the system in an effort to have a better chemistry or a better jar test of what they were producing. Uh, and so that meant that the residents were draining what was left at that point in the clear wells. Uh, this is happening, you know, at a time where we have support uh, with the state there, you know, at the tr water treatment facility. Uh, we, we welcome their support with open arms uh, because we believe that our residents are worthy. There is a new monthly eligible benefit raise. Lawmakers have agreed to provide a boost to beneficiaries. This might be worth up to $200 of financial aid. But some Americans in several states may not be eligible to receive this stimulus check. Gas prices are down, inflation is dropping very high, and the cost of food is going up. The price of food in America, everybody, rose more in the past year than it has at any time since 1979. Inflation has driven up supermarket bills so much that in some cases, it's more economical to dine in a restaurant than it is to shop and cook. Grocery store prices have increased more steeply because they're more directly impacted by rising food costs and supply chain issues. While the restaurants, the cost of ingredients is only a small part of the bill. Spending on food stamps has increased by $53 billion, a 90% increase in the two crisis years by comparison.